you will learn how to edit audio much faster in DaVinci Resolve and this will save you hours of struggling. I have created videos for over 12 years for me and my clients and always try to improve my audio skills, but today I will share with you some important ones used by the pros. You will solve one of the biggest problems and scariest step for a lot of creators, audio syncing. What to do to recover some audio files if you delete them by mistake and also one of the biggest step to make the entire process easier, creating presets tailored to your needs. Let's start with audio syncing. If you want really good audio, try to avoid the camera preamp and use an external recorder or a good audio interface. We all know this, but most of the time we prefer not to do it and lose audio quality because we are scared of this step. What many creators do. Add the video and the audio file, deactivate the snapping function and start to adjust the audio and find the right spot for it. This will not only take a lot of time, but it's also imprecise. Now, let's see the pro method. I have here my video file, and this is the separately recorded audio. Next, be careful not to unlink the video from the audio recorded internally. To sync an external recorded file with your video, you need to record some audio internally, in camera. Even if the sound is bad, record it, you need that internal audio. The software will sync the waveform of the audio recorded internally, in camera, which is synced with the video, with the waveform of the separately recorded audio. So to do this, you need to record audio internally. The audio recorded in the camera, it's synced with the video. When you sync that audio with the external file, automatically the video will also be synced. All you need to do is select all of them, right click and press auto align clips. And after select based on waveform. Now your video will be synced with the external file and of course you can mute the one from the camera. Also link all of them together to have them locked and synced. Now let's move to the next important trick that will help you a lot. Let's pretend you want to sync this video with an external file, but by mistake you deleted the audio file. If you are in the middle of a project, this will be part to recover. A beginner will import the full video again, trying to find that section. It's it's complicated, but DaVinci Resolve has this great recovery function that pros use when necessary. Select your video, press F on your keyboard, and these two buttons will appear here. The first one is to recover the video if you have the audio, and the second one is to recover the audio if you deleted it. Just drag it to your timeline and it will be the exact size as your video and in sync. Next, you can link them and after add your external recorded file and sync them. Now, if you find this video useful, don't forget to press the like button and maybe subscribe. Thank you. We are close now to one of the most useful tricks that pros use for speed, presets. But first, I want to give you a fast bonus that will also help you to gain some speed. The first one is split clip. How many editors cut clips? They press B on the keyboard for blade, cut, make maybe another cut, press A to switch to the cursor, select the clip and press delete to delete it. A pro editor uses split clip. Go to DaVinci Resolve, menu keyboard customization and search for split clip and see the shortcut or change it as you want. Now, if you want to cut your audio and video, place the playhead where you want to cut and press the shortcut for split clip. If you select the video, it will cut just the video. If you select the audio, it will cut just the audio. And if you don't select anything and just place the playhead, this will cut both. This will help you to be faster than switching all the time from plate to cars. Now, the next tip for speed, it's about start to playhead and end to playhead. Go again in the menu DaVinci Resolve, menu keyboard customization, and search for start to playhead and end to playhead, and customize these shortcuts. On Mac, for start to playhead, the shortcut is shift plus command plus right square bracket. And for end to playhead, the command is shift plus command plus left square bracket. But what do these do? Place the playhead where you want your video to start and press the start to playhead. This will cut and delete everything before the playhead. If you want to finish the video where the playhead is, press end to playhead 
and it will cut and delete everything after the playhead. These easy and fast shortcuts will help you a lot when you edit. Now, let me show you how to make a preset for your entire timeline. Most of the time, when editors start a new project and create a new timeline, they start to create the tracks one by one. After, when they process the audio, insert all the plugins one by one and start to adjust things. If you repeat this for every project, you will lose a ton of time, but a pro will do things like this. When they create a new timeline, they will simply select the preset they already created and boom, all the tracks are perfect and all the processing they already set is there. This is extremely useful. Let's create an example. I will create a new timeline and name it audio template. This will have a video track and a stereo audio track. Usually I record the sound separately, so I always want a second track, but this one, I want it to be mono for my microphone. I will right click here, add track and select mono. Now I have a secondary mono track and I will name it voice. After I usually use two tracks for sound effects like a keyboard or some clicks or other effects like this. So I right click again and add two more tracks, but stereo this time. And I will name them FX1 and FX2. And next I use most of the time another two tracks for music. I will add and name them music one and music two. Let's do more. On the voice track, I usually like to add this VST effect, RX10 the click. This is of course just an example, this is a paid VST and you can use something else for your processing. So now on this track I have this VST active and so on. You can go to Fairlight and add your plugins, process your voice and set everything as you like it. And of course this template can be created from another finished project where you have everything set up. If you record in the same place with the same microphone, 90% of the time the processing will be the same, maybe with some small adjustments, but 99% of the time you will use the same plugins and of course you can tweak the settings a little bit. So a template will be super useful. When you are done and everything is as you like it, go to Fairlight menu Fairlight and click on presets library. Here you can save a preset just for EQ, dynamics or plugins, but we want to save everything. To do this, choose Fairlight configuration presets. Set the name for your preset and now we have two big options. Number one, if you want to apply this preset to a new timeline, when you go to create a new timeline, you will see this checkbox, use Fairlight presets. Be aware if you don't have any preset yet, you won't see this checkbox here. So create your first preset and after you will see it. Check this and choose your template. And option number two, if you already have an existing timeline and want to apply the preset to it, go to Fairlight, menu Fairlight, go to presets library, choose your template and click apply. Think about it. You set everything only once, exactly as you want it to be. And with a few clicks, boom you are good to go. These tricks will help you to edit faster and better your audio, but you need more if you want your videos to stand out and to transform your editing skills. I have this dedicated series about applying effects and tricks most used by the biggest creators on YouTube. Easy to learn, but incredibly effective. Watch these tutorials and transform your editing skills fast.